Hi there, everybody. Welcome back to Ukulele Summer. The song this week is Will the Circle Be Unbroken? Another uplifting and peppy song about dying. <laughs> that seems to be our favorite kind of song to sing around the campfire, is it not? Uh, so Will the Circle Be Unbroken? Let me talk about uh, the chord progression first and then we'll get to playing it. It's appropriate that the word circle is in the title because we start off with a what I call a circle pattern of chords. We start on the first line with our C chord and then we go to C7. I'm going to move my index finger to the first fret of A and then I'm going to hop it over to the F chord. My index finger hops over to the first fret of E and my middle reaches all the way over to the second fret of G and then I come back to C with that ring finger on the third fret of A. And I'm going to play each of those chords for two measures. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, C seven, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, two, F, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, and back to C, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So eight bars all together in that first line, two bars for each chord, and see how they're moving in a circle, starting on that C chord, going out around the fretboard, and coming right back to the C chord. The second line also has eight bars, but follows what I call a boomerang pattern. Once again, we start on the C chord, and we're going to throw our boomerang out to the A minor chord. So I'm gonna reach my middle to the second fret of G, and then like a boomerang, it's going to come right back to the home spot, back to the C chord. And then I'm gonna throw my boomerang out to the G7 chord, and then it's gonna come right back to C. There you go. Now, this also sets up uh, two bars for each chord. At the beginning, we'll have two bars of C, two bars of A minor, but then because we're trying to squish the C and G7 and C together at the end, we're gonna play one measure of C, one measure of G7, and then two measures of C at the end. So it's all gonna sound like this, starting on C and one, two, three, four, two, two A minor, and one, Four, two, two, three, four, C, switch G7, back to C, two, three, four, for two, two, three. And then we start over again at the very beginning of the verse. Just two lines to keep in mind here. You can think of it going back and forth like a seesaw. Line pattern one, line pattern two, back and forth throughout the chorus and the verses. So let's put it all together with a strum pattern. I tend to like a nice, easy, uh, thumb strum for this. I'm thumbing the low G here with my thumb and strumming with my fingers the, all the rest of the strings. If you have a high G, you're going to uh, pluck on your C string and then you can pluck all the strings after that if you like. If that's feeling a little weird for you, you can always go with the standard strum, which is uh, all uh, down strums on the first beat. Two, three, four, two, two, three. But what I would do is the same way that the thumb strum sort of emphasizes that second and fourth beat. Two, three, four, one, two, three. I would do the same with your standard strum. One, two, three, four, one, two. All a matter of comfort as far as what feels good for you. Uh, I'll start a thumb strum and let's make our way through this pattern a couple times. One, two, starting on C. One, two, three, four, two. C seven. For two and then to F and back to C. Again, here's C. Here's the boomerang. Out to A minor here. Then one measure each of C, G7, back to C. Try it all again on your own. There you go. You've got the chord pattern. Pick a strum pattern that works for you. Feel free to take a break and loop that pattern as many times as you need to to kind of get it in your 
in your fingers and in your ears um, and in your mind. And uh, when you're ready, we'll play through it all together. Here we go. Will the circle be unbroken? Hey there, this is Will the Circle Be Unbroken, starting on the C chord. One, two, a one, two, ready, go. job. Enjoy that one around your campfire. One more quick thing. If you found this video helpful, I encourage you to consider becoming a member. It's a great way to say thank you and to keep this channel going. 
and you also get to enjoy some extra perks and resources for your music learning. You can learn more by clicking join below next to the subscribe button, which you should also click if you haven't already. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the support.